For the past 20 years, NOAA Ocean Exploration has been exploring the deep ocean. These dives are live streamed and feature commentary from a range of scientists and experts. Huge. Oh, he's so cool. Look at this. This is a meter and a half. At least. They have never invited me to be a commentator, so I invited myself. Looks like something's moving. Yeah, it's definitely moving. It looks like a fish. But it kind of looks like a... This is extremely rare to actually see one of these egg cases with the shark inside. Oh shit, really? That's a shark? Look at that, that's where they come from. This is definitely a highlight. Now I have a question. I don't know the scientific term for it, but the, the ball, the testicle, does each baby shark come from its own testicle or do they all come from that one? So the other one, that possibly there are two sharks. The one just hasn't, I guess, come out of the casing. Oh, okay, so you're saying that the testicle might be a shark, another one. Yeah, yolk. Oh, that's cool. Well, the, the yellow, yolk, yeah. I think that's the yolky portion, like the, the sac that- The sac? That's the All the, the food term? and nutrition is contained in. Oh, that's cool, so the baby shark's eating it. Wow. Very, That's very kind cool. of like the energy source for the small fish as it develops. Right, that's its food. You can see it's actually vascularized. It has these red uh, vascular structures, veins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It has little veins on it, doesn't it? It's a veiny sac. It's like rubbing itself. But for the people who are watching, if you go to the beach, you're not in any danger of a shark eating your... Yeah, I was just wondering, like... Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know much about the... Really? That feels like an important thing to know. Yeah. yeah. Put that one in the questions box. All right. Well, guys, we should probably move on. I don't want to get sacked. <laughs> get it? Yeah. Guys? It's turning out to be a pretty fishy dive indeed. <laughs> oh, come on. Mine was better than that. A little fight going on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the crab's like, no, you can't have my squid. And <laughs> it's not calamar you, it's calamar me. <laughs> That's what the crab's saying. <laughs> can, can you guys hear me? We've got a good tug of war going on here for this uh, piece of squid. So cutthroat eels are pretty ambitious predators in the deep sea. Megan, would you say he's getting crabby because they're trying to steal it from him? Guys? These cutthroat eels are pretty hardcore when it comes to feeding. Would you say they're pretty cutthroat, Megan? I would. <laughs> oh, come on. You're going to laugh at that? That's bullshit. This is a giant isopod. Oh, that's cool. So uh, I don't know if you guys um, have, we have them in Florida, right? The little pill bugs? Yep. They, yeah. They're like roly -polies. in the dirt. The roly poly bugs. Yeah. See, in the dirt, you used to play with those kids. We use marbles, but yeah. This is a relative of that. It's just a giant version. Oh my God, how oh, cool. Look at, <laughs> look at his understuff. You can see a wow. swimmerette. <laughs> Imagine waking up to this. I, like. <laughs> wait, what? Waking up to it? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I'm not totally understanding. Like, yeah. how? It's in your bed? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, how the hell does it get in your bed? What, do they come on land? I think so. We were what astonished, too. I had no idea. Well, for the record, we didn't know either until we got on this cruise. Yeah, so. because, yeah because it worries me because I sleep macho. Okay. Just a t-shirt, nothing else, and I, I wouldn't want that near my understuff. <laughs> They're super cute. <laughs> well, well, not that cute. <laughs> And this is a suspension feeding kind of derm, okay. so you see it grows up quite tall. There's something on the underside of the arm towards us, kind of large. Oh, yeah, I see it. What's going on yeah. there? Oh, it's a snail. Oh, yeah. So it may be feeding on this crinoid, yeah. and that would be something I've never seen before. Yeah, me neither. They actually have a proboscis. They can extend the mouth. Right. And that may be extending it to the main sort of feeding area of this crinoid, sort of where most of the soft tissue would mm -hmm. be, where most of the good stuff, most of the energy that it could extract. Right. If you can get a different angle of this uh, pilot, that would be appreciated. Oh, Whoa. Gosh. Wow. So that's exactly what's going on. That's a long proboscis. Is that Chris? Yeah. What do you think, Chris? I've never yes. seen this. Hey, Chris. Uh, I have, actually. Oh, and cool. And it's rather surprising because um, this is something that I've seen in the Paleozoic. I don't know <laughs> how many modern... I did not know you were that old. How old are you? Um, in the fossil record, there's a platy serrated um, snail that uses, uh, it basically is always found uh, clamped over the anus of stocked crinoids. Uh, it, on accident? Like, how does, how does that come about? Is it a kind of camouflage or 
defense? They feed on the poop of crinoids. Oh, fantastic. And um, the uh, proboscis seems like it's clamped down over the center of it where the anus might be. Right. Um, so I have a question. We have snails on land. Yep. And for the people that are watching at home, is this something that they have to worry about if they were on a picnic and maybe wearing short pants or a skirt or something right. like that? Uh, let's just say yes. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that was the impression I got. So, so that's something that can happen. I'm not. I mean, I'm trying to do some searches right now just to see if. What do you search for with something like that? Um, Snails eating ass? <laughs> uh, what the heck? What is? I'm sorry, I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, every time I look this up, uh, I, there are a lot of sort of older. Um, Older what? Like old people? Um, With snails on their... <coughs> Listen, don't worry about it. It's just, I find all of this fascinating. We probably need to move on. Thank you, Pilot. We can move on. That's uh, fantastic. I just said that. They're still they're still battling in the midwater here. This is new to me. I didn't know that shrimps hunted there's, fish. There's it looks like egg masses underneath that shrimp as well. Oh, it looks like it's brooding. Oh, cool. It has babies. And what kind of a fish is that? Yeah, so the fish is a midwater fish, also known as, I believe, viper fish. This is kind of horrifying, right, guys? I mean, I don't know who to root for, the fish right. being still alive and being eaten alive, or... Right, that's horrible. The shrimp having eggs needs to feed its brood. But, but wait a second, we're team fish, right? I mean, not like I'm rooting for it to make a comeback. I think we're past that point. <laughs> but we feel bad for the fish, right? Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, what? there was a fish inside the What? <laughs> Wait, it did what? It pulled it. They just pulled a fish out of the gut of oh, the midwater fish. It's like a magic fish. trick. What kind of magic oh are you going God. to? <laughs> but this is what I'm... You still don't know who to root for? Mama shrimp. The shrimp? No, you're kidding. The shrimp is an asshole. It's just ripped open the stomach of a this live fish. All right, I don't... I don't just because your toddler wants a num-num, you can't eviscerate a milkman. Fish, shrimp, okay. shrimp, fish. Okay, enough. Fish. Fish. Well, that's real grown up. Fish. I'm shrimp. just saying, for the children, that I think it's a dick move to rip open someone's stomach. I think we might have lost our G rating. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, very funny. I think we did a few minutes ago. <laughs> well, it's not my fault. You guys team up on me. What? Oh, look at this worm. You can see how it moves. That so looks the, like a... Sorry, go ahead. The worm has the rest of its body in that tube. That's, pretty, that's <laughs> freaking crazy. Can we get a little tighter zoom on that? I Do you want the bottom or the top? I've heard that before. <laughs> Sorry. Of the, the head. Gotcha. Is this how you're supposed to dance the worm? <laughs> I feel like I've been doing it wrong my whole life. It looks like if you didn't cut them, you know, like in Europe. Is it possible that the foreskin evolved from that? Sorry, I know that's wrong. I mean, do they share a common ancestor? Looks like it. Is that possible? Scott or? France writes, obviously having such an unwieldy tube right. that has to be lugged around is a benefit. Oh. <laughs> Likely for protection, and I guess so. And privacy. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, and privacy. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about right now? Look at that. He's, uh, <laughs> it looks like Patrick didn't make it all the way home from the bar last night. He's really puffy, isn't he? Yeah. Well, I get bloated after I drink, too, but... Uh, bigger. <laughs> bigger and puffier. Well, that's not nice. Kind of uncalled for. It's a race to the burrow. This is amazing. The snail is winning. I don't, I don't know if you want to win. This is like a Lars von Trier film. Yes. Innocence marching towards the gaping yawn of death. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's crazy. That scared me. <laughs> it's a Michael Bay film. <laughs> Look at the snail peeking down saying, what just happened? It's even got a comedy. Oh my gosh. Saved. There was a fish there a second ago. Saved. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess it was a Lars von Trier film.